Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Hey, in my last video we talked about getting a flat tire when, as we were putting the trailer into the RV site. And that I had a tire pressure monitor that alarmed like within a few minutes of parking it in the site. And so we, we actually picked up uh, a nail from a uh, nail gun and it punctured the tire and we lost pressure rather quickly. This has happened to us before, but this last time, the tire pressure monitor that I recently installed alerted me to the fact that I lost a lot of pressure. It went from 75 PSI down to 40 in just like a, a minute or two. And so it goes into an alarm. So it let me know that I lost a lot of air. That was a big plus because I knew right away now that I had a problem. The last time I didn't have a tire pressure monitor and I didn't know that I picked up a nail and that the tire went flat until we went to leave. It's because the jacks lift the trailer up and take the, a lot of the weight off of the wheels and so the tire stayed round until I pulled up the jacks and then uh, the tire you can see was uh, flat. So. Today I'm going to talk about the tire pressure monitor system that I installed and I did it extremely cheaply uh, for 40 bucks. So stay tuned, don't go away. All right, so believe it or not, I went to Camping World and they have a clearance section and it said 75% off of the clearance price that was already marked on the packages. So I came across this. Now this is for a single axle trailer. This is only two transmitters. This is made by TireMinder. But it's not only like a hundred and something dollars. With 75% off the clearance price, I got these for 20 bucks each. I mean, it was just totally amazing. 20 bucks each. Uh, so. They, they had three packages left of them, and so I bought all three. I was thinking that perhaps I could combine two of the kits together to get four, four tire monitoring. Because if you look, you can see the display is capable of displaying four tire pressures, but there's only two transmitters to come with it. Turns out this bundle here is uh, specific for Camping World. But there's nothing special about the display or the transmitters because they're exactly the same as the, the ones that are for two axles instead of one. But this is packaged for uh, single axle trailers. So I got that. Here's the other one. I stole uh, tire pressure uh, transmitters uh, off of it. So I've still got, so I got a backup display on here. The other one is mounted in the uh, truck and it comes with the display, the two tire transmitters and a booster. You have to use the booster with it. So uh, otherwise it's not gonna, gonna work. So I bought all three, like I said, I couldn't pass it up for 20 bucks. If, if it wasn't gonna work out, I figure, okay, I can always get my money back plus some by reselling. Either way, I figured I was not going to lose on this deal. So, Camping World. Wow, I was just shocked that you could get such a deal. So, I before ripping into the packages, I went on TireMinder's website, and uh, in there, there was a, an area where you could ask questions uh, by sending an email. Click on the link, I typed in my info, and what uh, model tire minder that we had. So I, it, I mean, I read on the back here, it says zero to 70 PSI. So that was one question, actually two questions on that particular email. Can this system read beyond 70 PSI? And uh, is it a problem for the transmitters if you do go beyond that? Um, that it's they're not going to leak or blow up or anything like that and within a couple of hours of my sending the email to them they sent me an email back saying yeah it's okay they said the reason they say that is because pressures vary quite a bit 
and that their display only displays two digits, not three. So if the pressure were to climb over over the 100 PSI mark, it will start displaying 01, 02, 03 PSI instead of 102, 103 PSI. They said that's the only reason they label it that way. So, and it's not a problem for me. My pressures aren't gonna hit 100 PSI or over, even when it's hot out. But uh, if it does display 02, 03, you know that you went past 100 PSI. So, no big deal. So they said, um, so that was okay. Then it dawned on me, I forgot to ask the question, um, can it, uh, can you take two kits and combine them basically? Uh, can I take the transmitters, the two transmitters from one of the other kits, same model, and pair it up to uh, this unit so I can now monitor four tires? And so I sent another email to them and they, within a couple hours, sent right back saying, oh yeah, just, there's a learning mode, you set it to learning mode, put on the, uh, the new transmitters, and all should be good. So that's what I did, it was easy putting them in the learning mode, and now I display all four pressures and temperatures of the tires too, which is important. Um, so now I can keep an eye on it. And so the total cost, I mean, $20 a unit, I bought three, so I spent $60 plus tax, but really the cost is $40, because I still have a complete kit for a single axle. Yeah, this one, not even open, the seals are not broken. 20 bucks, unbelievable. You're not gonna find a deal like that online or anywhere else. Amazon sells them. Um, not f with just two transmitters though, but with four for a double axle or for uh, four wheels on a vehicle. So, um, and those are way more, I'll just say that, <laughs> than what I paid. But um, exactly the same, same thing, same display, same transmitters, but you get four. I think it's a couple hundred bucks. You can get it on Amazon. Uh, Camping World also sells those and they wanted like $229 for it. So I saved a boatload of money. So I would suggest that if you want something like this, um, go to Camping World and look in their clearance aisle and see if they got any of these left. I've been looking around and I found more at another place except for they were selling them for 30, like $35 a piece. Still, still a good deal, but not as good as what I got. So. Every once in a while, you can find a good deal. Okay, now as far as installing it, real easy. You just screw the transmitters right on the valve stem, the display, um, single side or double sided tape. You just stick it up on the windshield. Here's the other great thing it's completely wireless, not even any wires to supply power because it has uh, solar cells on the side that. That goes up on the window so uh, sun power charges the batteries awesome but that booster that's in the kit and it comes with the uh, wires with the alligator clips on it and so you can clip it onto the batteries on your on your rig um, my batteries are up in the front in in uh, in there um, I just, I, I didn't screw it in or anything. I just laid it down inside the basement there and put the alligator clips right onto the battery. And, uh, and it works just fine. Green light comes on. Once the green light goes steady, it means it's receiving and sending signals from the transmitters. So, real easy. Don't have to wire anything in. Just two alligator clips and the booster. Uh, power right up the uh, it I tried it without the booster and the system won't work properly at all without it because the booster besides increasing the signal strength um, so you can reach from the front where the the front of the truck back to where the wheels are because um, that's a pretty good distance this it also says only like this it shouldn't be any more than 25 or 30 feet 
uh, from the transmitter to those uh, transmitters. Well, I'm way more than that, and with the booster, it works perfectly. So the booster boosts the signal, and it also filters out any kind of interference. Um, so that's definitely, you have to hook that part up. Easy peasy. All right, so here's the uh, monitor, just the uh, display, this uh, like color forms, this cover, this comes off to reveal the display. And it shows battery level and then when it's charging up here. So it's good. Three buttons to control it with. And then here's the other side. So you got the double sided tape. Just peel off the, uh, the backing, stick it up on the windshield and that's it as far as mounting it. And uh, th this area here is the solar panel. And that keeps the battery charged. Now with the transmitters, it's pretty awesome with those transmitters. It, it, they give you batteries. There are the little lithium flat batteries that go in there to power them up and they should last about six months and then they give you spare batteries as well so when those poop out you can put new batteries in so your first year is covered so figure about six months and then you got to change the batteries out uh, in this box here so once you get it out there's the batteries in this tray uh, a charging cable for USB if you need to do it. This is a little tool with some nuts in there to secure the tire monitor, uh, the tire pressure transmitters in place. Uh, makes it a little more difficult for somebody to unscrew them and steal them, but I didn't bother uh, dealing with that. And then this here is the transmitter and with a pretty long cable it's about six or eight feet long with alligator clips you just clip it onto your house batteries no soldering or anything involved and then spare double-sided tape for in case you mess up somehow or want to move the monitor so spare batteries cool and then tie wraps if you want to dress the uh dress up the wiring from the booster here again no problem i just laid it in the basement and, and it works fine they say you know don't put it in the basement that it, it this can actually go outside somewhere um that the basement could interfere with it but uh i haven't found that to, to be a problem so all right so even though it says 25 foot or less for a single axle right there it works just fine with my fifth wheel like I said it's more than 25 feet and uh, it works just fine okay well that's about it for today so if you got any questions don't hesitate to put them down in the comments below and I will get back with you all right until next time happy camping and bye now Thomas says, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like and share. Until next time, happy camping.